across the board in many different cultures have pretty much suggested that spirits, you know, pretty much still have maintained that psychology of human beings. So, can spirits hurt people? Well, can humans hurt people? Can we be mean? Can we be nasty? Can spirits lie? You know, uh, the, the people who always act like spirits are nice, fluffy energies of white light and stuff. That's not always the case. I don't know what world they live in. Um, you know, we don't always deal with negative stuff. We have come across some good stuff. But no one ever calls us crying and saying, I have a clown in my house and he's so happy. You know, it's always the darker stuff. They have a lovely spirit and they don't really care. They, they don't bother and they don't ever call us in, therefore. Um, but, what's up? Oh, that was so nice. um, So anyways, why do spirits return? These are kind of some of the stereotypical answers we get. Unfinished business, to deliver information, punish living enemies, to so be nice. Um, protect loved ones, reenact its death, painful traumatic death. This is normally the big one right here. Imagine if your life is cut short instantly. Now we're a very materialistic society. I think all of us are a little nervous about death. So suddenly, bam, you're dead. You know, you kind of linger on and you kind of try to convince yourself, no, no, I'm still alive. And if you think, yeah, right, how can you convince yourself you're still alive? We convince ourselves of things all...